Yo, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make custom melee weapons in Fortnite Creative you can equip and use inside your maps. It's pretty easy to make and there's no verse. So if this helps, please consider liking. But anyways, let's get into it. So what you want to do is come over to this website called Sketchfab. And here you can download free models that people have made. All right, so you want to look up melee weapons and then sort it by downloadable. And then for license, creative common, and any one of these models you can download and use in your map. So I found this one model by Discover. I'll leave it in the description if you guys want to use the same one. But then just click download 3D model and click FBX and download this file. All right, then you want to go to your files and go under downloads and find the file that you just downloaded right click it and hit extract file then you want to drag the file into uefn and click import all after that you're going to see two files called sources and textures click on sources and uh you're going to see the static mesh of the melee you can drag that out and see what it's going to look like so once you drag it out you'll see there's no textures on the static mesh it's just blank so go over to sources uh, find the material that's connected to the static mesh open it up and then you could delete this So then just connect all the textures to the material So for example base color will go to base color and then the next one is emissive So just drag the emissive texture into the material and then just do that for the rest of the textures and then click apply and save And then once you do that you can close out of this all right, then you just want to go back to all your files and uh, right click and click Niagara system. And you want to look up directional burst and then click it and hit create. Then you just want to name it lava sword and open it up. All right, so once you open it up, you can delete everything in particle update. And then you can also delete everything in render and in particle spawn. Then after that, you want to click the little add button in particle update and look up static mesh location. Click on the triangles and click uh, sockets. And then you want to go over to render, click the plus and add a mesh render. And here you're going to come over to meshes and add the static mesh of the melee. And then once you do that, then you'll be able to see the melee over here but you see there's no textures on the melee. So what you wanna do is go back over to sources. Click on the material and scroll all the way down and click use with Niagara mesh particles and then click apply and save and then just open up the Niagara system again and you'll see that the melee has textures to it. And then you can delete the melee that you dragged into the world because we don't need that anymore. Then open up the content browser, click all and look up VFX and drag in the VFX power up. And once you drag that in, change infinite effect duration to true, time to respawn to zero, ambient audio to off, and then visual effect to custom effect. And then here you're gonna put in the Niagara system Mine is called Lava Sword. And then set custom effect socket to right hand. Scroll all the way down. And then if you wanted to persist on elimination, just click that. And then go over back to the content browser and look up basic sword and drag that into the map. And then launch the session and um, start the game and you'll see the melee, but it's not properly attached to the player and it doesn't look right so what you want to do is go back over to the niagara system and click on the mesh render and go under mesh is index and here you can change the rotation position and scale what you want to do this part takes quite a bit of time but you want to adjust these settings so the melee is attaches to the sword and looks right so after a bit of trial and error you should eventually get it if you guys do use the same melee that i'm using here are the settings i used you guys can just copy these so then push changes and start the game but that's pretty much it so that's how you get the custom melee but let's say you want to make it so when a player presses a button they get the melee instead of having to walk into the vfx all right so i built this little set and what you want to do is search for a button and add that into the game and then you just want to change these settings to trigger sound to disabled interaction text you could change that to anything i just set this to pick up melee 
and then visible during game to no and interaction radius to 0.5 and then just click OK. After that, then you want to go grab the VFX power up that we made earlier and connect that to the button. So just hit pick up and then select the device, so the button, and then select events. So set that to on, interactive, and click OK. Then what you want to do is add an item grantor and just make it so grant item when receiving from button and click OK. Then you just want to look up basic sword and drop that into the item grantor. And after that, just put the mechanics under the map so no one sees it and start the game. But that's pretty much it. That's how you make custom melee weapons in Fortnite Creative. You can use any melee. This is just the one I used. I'll leave it in the description if you guys want to use the same one. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.